Researchers at Utah State University right now are looking for ways to improve the air quality. And their approach has nothing to do with cars or uh, the factories that are no, out there. Not even close. <laughs> they are focusing on methane gas that's released into our air, specifically from cows. New specialist Mike Anderson joins us to explain. Interesting focus, Mike. Yeah, yeah, certainly is. And you know what happens to us all? You know, you get a bit of food that causes some bloating. You end up passing more gas. Well, researchers here at Utah State University say that happens on a pretty regular basis to cows. And they believe that the right diet can result in less pollution from cattle. Our carbon-emitting cars get a lot of the blame for our bad air quality, and rightly so. But a team of researchers are instead working on the gas that we associate more with an offensive odor. Cows are responsible for about 80% of the greenhouse gas emissions in, um, in the livestock sector. Dr. Juan Villalba is heading up the project that now has the support of a close to $7 million grant from the USDA. Villalba says the rangelands that cattle feed on drop in quality as the weather gets more dry and hot. The quality of um, rangelands, the nutritional quality of rangelands is declining um, with the changes in climate increase in temperature. Lower quality food means more gas, and his team believes better food sources can help. They'll be placing islands of mostly legumes out on the range to test it out, ultimately monitoring how much methane their cows put out. In order to be sustainable, it has to be profitable. So that is going to be a, a significant factor in all this is uh, look at the um, the costs and benefits of this process. Villalba says there is an educational component to the study too in showing agricultural producers how increased productivity through better diets can offset the cost of planting those legumes. More efficient for, for everybody, not just for the animals. And this study is still in the early phases. It's supposed to take about five years. And Dr. Villalba says that uh, while methane uh, it makes up a smaller piece of our pollution problem and stays in the atmosphere for a shorter amount of time, he says it actually has a stronger greenhouse effect.